project is over in the opt op optical lab uh, and it's looking at uh, sort of the very first stage of uh, optical switch. So currently all the compu all computers and stuff have switches inside them which are sort of transistor based and obviously run on electricity. Uh, this is sort of the very first stage of looking at using a switch which runs on light. We have a, uh, this set up here which is a micro pillar and it has lots and lots of sheets of glass in it which refract refract light so when we put in a beam of light into this beam the light bounces around inside here and will uh, constructively and destructively uh, interfere with it interfere with itself and in this period here this slightly shaded less shade of gray here it will uh, destructively uh, interfere and this forms a cavity where there is no light so this micro cavity here these are all the different sheets of uh, glass. Inside of that micro cavity we put a quantum dot and uh, a quantum dot can either have an up or a down spin and what we do is we put into this system a horizontally polarized beam of light and when we put this horizontally polarized beam of light in it will uh, interfere with the quantum dot in such a way that if the quantum dot has up spin then the beam of light that comes out of this system will be polarized at an angle theta. And if the quantum dot has downspin, then, then the uh, beam of light that comes out will be polarized at angle minus theta. So you can see how it's the very start of an optical switch. Depending on which state this quantum dot is in, you will either get out a, plus, uh, a beam of light which is at angle plus theta, polarized at angle plus theta, or a beam of light which is polarized at angle minus theta. So you can see how, depending on what state this quantum dot is in, depends on what beam of light we get out. And as sort of in a switch, can be used as a switch. This, this whole system will eventually be used uh, in a quantum computer. And at the moment, the, the quantum computer is much better than the computers we have at the moment, just because it will be much faster. This isn't just electronic engineering. You can see there is electronic engineering in it crosses over and links very closely with physics, uh, so it's sort of a multidisciplinary uh, project. Uh, and I work very closely with a, a number of physicists on, the, uh, on this project, uh, mainly over in the opt optical group. So there's a lot of uh, physicists who I go to and I ask, what the hell is a quantum dot? And they tell me, because obviously as an engineer I have no idea. So physicists have come up with this sort of quantum mechanics, if you like, uh, theory, and engineers are trying to use that theory to come up with real-world applications that could be